Hi guys, I'm back with another Appline cooking video. Today we're going to make sautéed vegetables over butternut squash rice. And what you're going to need, here I have one large red pepper, one large red onion, and a package of white baby bella mushrooms. You can use whatever kind of mushroom you want and what kind of onion you want and what kind of pepper you want. For this, you're going to need as, as much butternut squash as, you, as you'd like, depending on how many people you're going to feed. I'm going to feed two people with this. All I did was peel the butternut squash, chop, chop it, and took half of it and shredded it. This is going to be our rice. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to season these. To season these, we're going to add a teaspoon of sea salt, tablespoon of onion powder, fourth a teaspoon of ginger, and a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne. Do you uh, season these? Get them, get it all stirred up, and let it marinate for about five minutes. For the butternut squash, we're going to add the same seasonings. We're going to keep all these seasonings real simple. This is a cheap and inexpensive meal. Alright, we're going to add another teaspoon of sea salt. Half a tablespoon of onion powder. Eighth of a teaspoon of ginger. And eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. Stir these up and let them marinate for five minutes. Alright, now that your veggies have had a chance to marinate, you can get your pans going and get them nice and heated up. Add about a tablespoon of oil in each pan. Now we're going to add our veggies. Get them coated with some oil. Okay, see so when you get back. My son's leaving to go to the store, so he wanted to let me know. Alright, so get them nice and stirred and sauteing. Down here, in your other pan, you're going to add your butternut squash rice. And this is just simply butternut squash shredded up. Very inexpensive. This is a really cheap, light meal. Stir it around, get it coated with the oil, and let it cook. We're just going to cook the butternut squash until it's done. It doesn't take too long. You can taste it to your liking. Okay, saute, uh, saute these for about three to four minutes, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, the veggies have been sauteing for about three to four minutes, like I said. We're going to let them cook a little bit longer. They're starting to tenderize, but if you want to keep take yours out now, that's, that's great. I just want this one to be cooked a little longer this time. And then the butternut squash is not cooked yet, so it still needs more time. So we're going to give each one of these. The butternut squash, I'm going to give another three to four minutes. The veggies, probably another three. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, these vegetables are perfect. They're to my liking. Peppers still have a little bit of a bite to them. Onions are tenderized. Mushrooms are tender. So I'm going to take this off the heat. And these cooked, oh, I think I had them cook them for about seven minutes. All right, guys, I had these cooking for about an additional five minutes instead of three to four. And they're just about done. All right, these are done. You're getting a nice little brownness to them here and there. And I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Okay, so our light went out as usual. Nothing new there. 
All right, so this is how you plate it. You take some of your butternut squash rice. Plate it up real nice. Get a lot on there because this is really healthy and really light. Then you're going to add your beautiful veggies right on top. Just like so. Let's get some more red peppers in there. There you are, guys. Sautéed veggies over butternut squash rice. This is an uh, alkaline electric meal. It's simple to make, really quick, and it's super cheap. Let me turn this up a little bit. There we go. See that? It is so tasty and colorful. Everyone will love it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the recipe when you make it. Let me know what you thought of the video. And don't forget to hit that like button. All right, guys, I'll see you in our next video. Bye.